Hello everybody, Slash and VC here, and I'm playing Vulture 4 NetHack, coming soon to Steam. And I'm playing with Nymeria. Hello, Nymeria. Hello, Slash. We were just talking about uh, what to do next. I'm out of options for creating monsters for sacrifice. Never did get my sacrifice gift. And uh, I thought we might just try a quick polypile. Don't know what's going to come out of it. I'm just going to pick up everything off the floor. Line it up sort of in categories. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a ton of junk in here. How come didn't I pick that up? Your next set can't accommodate any more items. Uh, Alright, so I'll drop all the armor related stuff here. I'm gonna hang on to that. Yeah. Now I'm getting rid of that. Your cloak of displacement? Yeah. Wow. It's rotted. It's totally rotted. I'm gonna drop all the weapon related stuff here. I'm gonna hold on to one worm too. Yeah, this is weapon related. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that could be fun. Right, I mean, he could he could definitely turn into something worse, but he could also turn into something better. Right. Uh, drop all kind of weapons. Do you have to put them in a stack? You don't have to, but I always do. Um, I'm thinking that. Armor likes to combine into armor, weapons like to combine into weapons, kind of like that. So you've got a better chance to get better stuff, I think, if you pile it up and line it up. Could be wrong. And I could be just being like a CPU. The potions, see, I don't know what they are to begin with, so there's no point <laughs> right, in poly. So poly. Same thing with the scrolls, unless I was to poly, like, the unlabeled scrolls. And I know that that's a cursed pyramidal amulet, but I don't know if it'll still be cursed when I poly it. It's kind of a good question. I don't know what the rings are, so there's no reason to poly those. And... Throw your great monster wand down. Um, right, yep. Yeah. Because I, I, well, I mean, unless I was to find charging, scroll of charging, or if I have a scroll of charging. Yeah, drop your create monster and speed monster. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to use speed monster again, unless I use it on my pet. Well, just, you're not. I'm not going to do it, you just want to see what I get. Okay. Uh, and the tools, I'm going to hang on to the tools too. And your expensive camera, just throw that Okay. Now let's get the horse lined up. There, he's up. lined up. Aw, oh, you made him move. There, zap it. Let's do this. Only to find out it's not really a one. Oh, what did he poly into? A glass piercer. A glass piercer. That's a terrible pet. What the heck? I'll bet he just stands around and hangs from the <laughs> Okay, let's see if we got anything else. Wait a minute, this stuff didn't poly, did it? It looks as though it did. Yeah, last one. Okay, round. I got a new wand. Um, All that stuff stayed in Elven crummy. broadsword. Yeah. Right. High boots, leather, banded mail, right now. Yeah, try it all out. Try the high boots and see if they became speed boots. And the love of God, poly eater. Head again. again, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna engrave identify this wand real quick. It turned into a glass wand, right? I think so. Huh, no, it doesn't really say what it did. Alright, well, hold on here. Let's, uh, let's poly you back. Into an ant. Giant ant? Uh, They're 
fast. Uh Oh no. no, my pet became a lichen. Some metal oh, oh. <laughs> some metal objects meld and an iron golem arises oh, no. from the pile. He looks bad to the bone. Wow. I'm scared. You should probably call it your lichen again. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh my god. Is he peaceful? No. Am I lined up? Yeah. Um, a winged gargoyle. I think I'm gonna stick with that. No, all right. That sounds good. Winged gargoyle attacks the jelly. Hope he'll attack that iron golem. Iron golem picks up a sling. Iron Golem picks up a bamboo arrow, picks up a banded nail, leather armor. Whoa! Blast of poison gas! He breathes poison gas? Iron Golems breathe poison gas, apparently. What the oh heck? Oh my god. Good thing you're poison resistant. Okay, have one last look at this situation, because I'm leaving it <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, I wasn't planning on it. What if he hits me for 98 points all in one go? I mean, obviously I'm immune to the poison. All right, yeah, yeah, I'll try one attack. Poison resistant. I'll try one attack. Well, I would zap him with something if you had a bunch of wounds. I don't know what they do. Yeah, he hit me for 20 hit points. 20 more. Hey! What's your problem? Iron chains. What iron, do you mean with iron chains. chains. I have no idea. Hmm. Well, there's a bunch of them. What do you do with iron chains? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, you should go ahead and identify whether or not the other stuff you picked up is cursed. What other stuff? You picked up the boots. Yeah. They were boots and leather armor. I don't think you picked up the armor, but you need to see if the boots are cursed. Uncursed boots, uncursed ring. Uh, I guess I could take off the boots I've got and try these other on. These are plus one boots. Say it's time to go diving. Come on, winged gargoyle. You know what I wish I had now? Is that wand of speed monster, because I'd speed my gargoyle up. Well, you shouldn't have polymorphed it. Well, you know, somebody said polymorph, but polymorph, but I don't know why I listen to somebody sometimes. I don't think anybody said that. I was in your head. Uh -huh. Come on, gargoyle. See, I mean, it's going to be neat to have a cool pet, but. If he's not fast enough to keep up, then there's no point. Oh, wait, that's the mines, isn't it? Or not? Uh, no. no. Here comes a monkey. I'm trying to run away with my red gem. Yeah, I hate monkeys. Yeah, that's the mines. Excuse me, Gargoyle, we don't have the way down yet. Maybe you're permanently stuck on this slope. <laughs> well, there's definitely a hidden door. You have like a serious issue with staircases. I know, right? I worry about your barbarian. He's so dumb, he can't figure out how to open doors or go downstairs. The wing gargoyle drops me so low. You know what I could do? Pickaxe my way down. 
You have a wand of digging. You could just dig your way down. Oh, yeah. I'm saving my charges. Uh, I don't have my pickaxe anymore. I'm going to use my wand of digging. Digging down. I mean, it's one way to get rid of your pet. I'm going back up for him. Let's figure it out. Uh oh. I have no food. My goodness, you're never going to get a sacrifice gift at this rate. Yeah, because I've got to pray for food all the time. Yeah. Oh. We'll just pop down for a second. We're looking for the upstairs so we can go get our pet. Eh, who cares about your pet? It's just a wing farmer. Yeah. It's just four charges off my polymorph wand. I mean, if we weren't having fun, we would have never done that. That was kind of crazy. Oh, I would have done that. You would have? I would have kept doing that because I would not have settled for a wing farmer. I'd go for like a tight. I think I just sat. I wanted digging. Let me try it again. Oh, I bet I tried to fall in the wall. There we go. What the? You know what? If I could lead these guys back to the altar. Yeah, right. Come on, guys. Follow, Follow me. me. <laughs> Wear rat corpse. It's my gargoyle took care of business with regards to a wear rat. Hello, Rugar. What if they eat? You know? Why wouldn't they eat? I don't know, I just didn't know if they ever eat. I mean not everything eats, right? What does it eat? Oh dear. If only you can see monsters while you're running. There's an enemy. Hey, he's friendly. It. Uh, crazy I man? I, uh, I guess I should have, shouldn't I? I'm just trying to get a little nutrition. You know, this whole game has been like an episode of Naked and Afraid. <laughs> you think everything is an episode of Naked and Afraid? You should never have watched that. You play Minecraft, you're like, wow, this is like Naked and Afraid. You play Don't Starve, you're like, oh my god, this is like Naked and Afraid. <laughs> it's like, just the kind of Maybe games we play, Maybe you should wear right? clothes while playing these games and it won't feel so much like Naked and Afraid. Secrets <laughs> out. Slash is Naked and Afraid. I'm kidding, he's not afraid. <laughs> there hey, you go. Yeah. Finally I found food. food. Yes. Hey, you can calm down. Made it all the way down to dungeon level five, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. People watching your series right now are like, who is this noob? Nymeria's on like dungeon level. Where are you? Whoa. Deep. Deep. Yeah, I mean, I've been to the bottom of the Nomish Mines, and then I, I've gone down to 11. So, I just now got all my sacrifice gifts, and then I'm gonna dive down some more. Okay, hey, where'd the winged gargoyle get off to? Waiting for you, winged gargoyle. Former horse. He had a rough day. He had to go through more than one transformation there. Right. When he was good enough as he was, I don't even know why you felt the need to call him. I'm gonna quit listening to you. Well. <laughs> Not only do you often give me some pretty bad advice, um, 
then you don't even take responsibility for it. <laughs> You're just like, oh, who told you that? Come on, Gargoyle. There we go. Put the gold in there, put the amulet in there, put the slime vaults in there, unlabeled scroll, everything else has been identified. the deal, Cargo. You got a thing for towels? Oh. Yeah, I picked up the towel now he's following me. Another glass wand. I still don't know what that does. Is that your pet with it? No. That's how I discovered it. Don't eat the tango. You oh. get teleportitis. Uh, is that what it does? I thought it adjusted your speed. But I'm already fast, so yeah, it would be a bad idea. I don't think I can get any faster if I have to adjust my speed down. Killer B. Kind of a... Oh! And it's insect hell in that hallway. Scorpion. Killer B, usually a sign that your luck is bad. Not always, I'm sure, but... Sometimes it's, it's just a sign that there are bugs present in the dungeon. Uh, right. Ooh, scorpion. And a melon? Yum. I wouldn't mind having teleportitis, I'd almost say. But, I won't eat the leprechaun either. He could definitely give you teleportitis. I'm thinking that without... Oh, look, it's a zoo. Without a teleport control, that would be bad. Whoops. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Whoa. Pretty good size, though. Yeah, you can take them. I can take them. And I will take them. In the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, guys. I'm going to cut it off right here. And uh, I will catch you next time.